Leader Xi Jinping of the People's Republic of China and Ma Jingzhou of the Republic of China, also known as Taiwan, met in Singapore in November of 2015, marking the first time since 1945 that the territory's leaders have met. Which got many of us wondering, why decide to meet now? Is it possible that the two territories will finally reunite, or is this simply political gesturing? But first, to understand what's happening today, it's important to understand the history of the territory's tense relations. After the end of the Chinese Civil War, the Chinese Communist Party forced the Nationalist Party to flee mainland China. The Nationalist Party ended up in Taiwan, but never gave up their claims as the true Chinese government. While China considers Taiwan a renegade territory, Taiwan maintains that it is an independent entity, though it shies away from calling itself a country because, well, China has threatened to use Use non-peaceful means to reintegrate the island if it does so. Today's geopolitical backdrop surrounding Taiwan and China suggests the meeting is more likely to maintain the status quo than it is to reunify the territories. Though the two leaders did discuss instituting a hotline of sorts to facilitate government communication as well as a trade agreement, nothing was signed nor set in stone. What's more, during the meeting, the leaders were very careful to appear as equals, entering from opposite sides of the stage at the same time and addressing one another as Mr. rather than President, in many ways reflecting their 1992 agreement in which they basically agreed that there is only one China, but agreed to disagree on who deserves the title. Many see this meeting as diplomacy catching up with the already existing economic and social ties. Despite the lack of face time between the two leaders, the two governments have been working together for decades. During his time in office, Mr. Ma of Taiwan has signed more than 20 agreements with mainland China. Which brings us to another reason for why they may be meeting now, political opportunism. It positions Mr. Ma's party as peacekeeper just before election time. His term's about to end and he'll likely be replaced by a member of the opposing party, a party that seems less interested in cooperating with the communist mainland China and more interested in independence. So it's in China's best interest to help the standing party gain votes. Ironically, others interpret this meeting as a sign of China's increased vulnerability. In addition to the anti-Chinese protest in Taiwan, China is contending with severe international pressure surrounding its treatment of other territories like Hong Kong and the contested South China Sea. So some would say it's in China's best interest to play nice, or at least appear that way, in order to avoid having to contend with superpowers like the United States, who have intervened in the past. So the meeting between leaders is likely more a response to domestic troubles and geopolitical relations than it is a sign of China and Taiwan finally making peace. But to learn more about topics related to China, check out this channel, China Uncensored. And for a hypothetical video on what would happen if they actually did go to war, check out this video by our sister channel, Test Tube News. As always, thanks for watching, guys, and if you haven't already, please subscribe to Seeker Daily.